Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw the awesome looking Havoc in Fortnite. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this and to begin we're going to draw his eyes first. So this one's going to be fairly simple. So it's kind of like a mean brow, so I'll just draw in two lines like this, kind of a slant. And give the tip here, just kind of dip it down a little bit. And I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker. Alright, and then from there now I can draw in his eye. So just kind of draw like a little arc like this. Right underneath the brow. And then we're going to finish off the eyeballs. So this one's easy, just two little curves and I'm just gonna shade it all in because I don't have room to make a little highlight okay so that's pretty much his eye so we're gonna keep it cartoony like this and then on the for the opening of the mask just come out to the side just draw in two brackets and then from here we can just kind of go in down on his face and then come back up let's try to make a nice curve Go up and then we're going to come back down. Now we can draw in the rest of the mask. So we could kind of do it the same way. And draw a slight bracket on each side. And then we're just going to come down. It's nice and easy, just nice curve. And then for the top, we're going to go up. And then we're going to curve it, but probably not as much. So it'll be a little bit flatter. Okay, so that's pretty much his face. So let's move down to his neck and to his body. So we're going to come down a little bit. Just we can draw into the neck like this first. And now we're going to draw in the, his clothing around it. So right here on each side, we're going to come out. And then we're just going to connect it kind of in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to come out here because it's got a really big thing around his, on his shoulder. Okay, so we come down and then we're just going to come in. So we just kind of meet up again. And then for this, we're going to continue this line here and just kind of go over that. So as if this piece is going over that. And then from here, let's finish up the, the neck area. So we just go out to his shoulder and then for his mass area ends right here. So we just draw a little line. Okay, so let's finish up his clothing. So for his shoulders, we're going to keep going out just slightly here. And then now we're going to pinch it in all the way down to his waist. So this is going to be pretty straight. And then now we're going to close it off. And he's only got one big belt, so we'll extend it a little bit further down. Close that off and then the details, the buckle. A little bit of detail and then let's draw in the loops so I'll just draw one on this side and one more on the other all right and then from here let's finish up his, uh, his jacket he's got a strap here and we're gonna draw another one here and then we're gonna close this off and then draw a little kind of a rectangle in there because he's got a little buckle there but it's underneath this clothing so we can't see all of it All right, and then from here, let's draw in, well, he's got some shells here, right? So we're gonna draw, well, let's do it this way. So we'll go slant. Let's draw one big rectangle first. And then we're gonna divide it up into three pieces. And then we're gonna add in a little detail on the top here. Okay, and then we got, now we're gonna draw the belt. So this is gonna be, big belt around it and then this part is gonna go behind the shelves all right so that's kind of cool and then let's come down and finish off his clothing right here and his zipper so right uh, where this little area area is we're just gonna come down with two lines so this is gonna be the zipper all right okay so let's move on to his arm so his arm shoulder little armpit here 
I come down some nice curves this is elbow right here we got flare out a little bit and then we got close it off and this glove's got really big cuffs on the on the glove so we're gonna flare it out quite a bit we're gonna come in and then we're gonna close it off with the same kind of curve and then we're gonna come down for his arm slight curve and we're gonna have him holding a fist so we're gonna come out turn in for his thumb back of the hand and then there's his fingers folded in so that part's nice and easy and let's see let's add in yeah, let's add in the, the little stripes you got here which is kind of cool okay so let's move on to the other arm so we're gonna draw the shoulder and it's gonna be a little bit down uh, point it downward more it's a little armpit area Okay, same thing, we're going to flare it out, close it off, and now we're going to go out, and come in, slant it in, close that off, and now for his arm, okay, and then now we're going to start his hand, it's going to come out, and his thumb's going to come down, and then his palm just kind of curve it like that and then he's gonna have his trigger finger out here and now we're gonna draw three more fingers right below it so we're gonna go one two and three and then let's draw in the handle for the gun just right around here come down just kind of close that off with the handle and then just close this off to show the, the palm all right so i'm just gonna make them uh, hold a pistol so we're gonna we're gonna come down from this line just kind of straight down and let's keep it simple we're just gonna draw a, a rectangle and then just give this a little slant at the end and then let's see the trigger I'm gonna draw two lines if I can okay it's kind of hard with the sharpie and then here uh, let's divide up this at one line we add a curve right around here and then some details we're drawing some some slants and then let's give a little sight so yeah you can just you don't have to draw draw this you can make your own little gun and let's give them a, a silencer so we're gonna extend it out one foot the, and then we're gonna come out All right, so it's just a rectangle, that one's easy. All right, so let's move on to his legs. And so we can come down in the middle. Let's draw a little line. And then we're gonna come out for his leg. Pinch in. And then we're gonna curve this way. And then we're gonna come down and just kind of finish that for his knee pads. And let's work on the other side before we go down too much. So use that as a guide, so you know how far down to go. All right, and then close it off, same kind of curve. And then again, knee pads, just kind of curve it. And we can add in, he's got stripes here, one on each side. And one more here. And we can add in a little detail on the knee pad. Just draw a little inside curve like that. All right, so let's move on. Let's finish up the legs. So his lower leg, which is gonna come out, this is still his pants. Kind of close it off. And then now for his boots, so we're gonna come in just gonna draw a nice curve like that and then we're gonna close this off with a curve and then we got dry shoes dome shape have it come out a little bit more on this side and then the sole and then let's see he's got we're drawing two lines here for we'll add in the uh, 
and then we'll lace it. So we'll just have it go sideways for now. Okay, so let's draw the other side. So again, flare out, close it off. Close that off, and again the dome shape coming out more on this side. Close it off. So, and the two lines again, and then the laces. And we almost almost forgot these got uh, some stripes on this side as well. So. Now for the camouflage patterns, I'm going to switch to a, a thinner Sharpie so I don't mix it up too much. So I'm just going to go around and just kind of draw these kind of shapes. And you don't have to follow exactly like this as long as you have some kind of curves around it. And we'll color that in as different, with different colors. So just kind of go around and just draw these. It's almost like a little puzzle piece. Okay, so very simple. And don't draw them too small, or else it's gonna be really messy. So I'm just going around, a few more here. And for his, for his pants. So this is kind of the fun part, right? That's the easy stuff. Get one here, divide that up, maybe a smaller one. And just a couple more on the lower, lower on the bottom. And that is it for this Havoc character in Fortnite. Hope you guys liked the way it turned out. And if you did, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.